adding some uh, class and elegance to the broadcast today. Thank you very much. much. Come on. Well, That's going to be a seven box for Sean. Can't afford many of those. Uh, right back, or I'm going to bring Terry here. He's got four WCBC titles, including uh, his most recent one in January in Ware, Massachusetts. He had a 1444 for his 10 strikes. He could use a break here to break up that split. He's trying to worry that pin over, but it won't go. Get to some of your emails and cards and letters during the course of the match. Hey, we're bowling. Gene Belleville from Methuen, Massachusetts sent us a little note, Mike. Dear Dick and Mike, this was in the Lawrence Eagle Tribune last week. You may have read about it previously, but I thought I'd send it to you just in case. My wife and I enjoy your show. We go to the tapings. See you next Tuesday. Gene Belleville, Methuen, Massachusetts. The trivia Tales. Elaine Michaud. Skittles, or 9-pin, is the forerunner of 10-pin bowling. That took hold in the United States. There's Chris Sargent again. Two in a row. So this is a, an $875 shot coming up right here. Again, Let's get huh? back to this newspaper clipping. I'll tell you what, if he throws another strike, he, he will pop, possibly have a 200 game. Oh, oh, look at that eight pin. The eight pin never moved an inch. Everything around it went by it. Another mark. Six pins for 190. Six for 190. Had that pin gone down with a good fill, he would have had a 200. 193. So so that'll be Chris the highest Sargent. we've had in the seven and a half years we've done this show, Dick. Standing ovation for Chris Sargent here. At Lita Lanes for a 193 first string. What a performance by Chris Sargent. Nine marks, the only one he missed, he could have had. There was a piece of wood that got in the way. Yep. Could easily have been a 200 down. Now Sean Baker tries to stay alive. Well, what a hole to dig out of. Wow. Now back to that newspaper clipping. Skittles or nine pin, the forerunner of ten pin bowling that took hold in the United States in the early 1840s. Because of a controversy over nine pin bowling and gambling, gambling on the game became so rampant, the state legislature in Connecticut created a law against bowling at nine pins because it considered the sport an evil event. So did New York in response, or so the myth goes, some quick-witted entrepre quick entrepreneur dodged the law by adding a tenth pin to the set and 10-pin bowling became the standard, giving birth to the American Bowling Congress in 1895 and the Women's International Bowling Congress in 1916. Today, the ABC estimates 50 million bowlers. That doesn't include Candlepin, of course, but that's a little bit of the history of 10-pin bowling in the United States. That's from the Lawrence Eagle Tribune. Ouch. <laughs> a 104 for Sean Baker, an 89-pin lead after one for Chris Sargent over Sean Baker, a record-setting 193 for Chris Sargent in the first string. What a performance by Sargent. String number two coming up from Lita Lanes in Nashua as you watch Candlepin Stars and Strikes. All right, Sean Baker will bowl first in string number two. He ran into a 193 first string put on the board by Chris Sargent, nine marks and 10 boxes. Could have been 10 for 10, but we're not for a terrible bad break. And now Sean tries to get back in. He could, he could use a bunch of marks back to back to back. And he's got the 2 and the 10. Piece of wood angled out there might make this makeable. Nope, doesn't get either one of them. What do you say after a 193? What do you do? How do you follow that? Well, you just tip your hat and say, man, this is your day. Saw Sean Baker last. He was the top seed in this year's, or I should say last season, 2004, a year ago, Tournament of Champions 
defeated by second seed Gary Carrington, who is in the house today watching both these bowlers. Again, Sean could use a break. This time the wood in the back is not bad. That's a good piece of wood. Makes the shot makeable. Gives him a little bit of a margin for error. Here's the shot. Good spare by Sean. Let's see if he can turn the tables. Want to acknowledge an email from Robert Sean Devlin from Arlington, Massachusetts. A big fan of Candleton Bowling on television and likes to watch our show week after week. Sean, Robert Sean Devlin, thank you very much for writing in. He missed one, huh? How about that? He's hewing. And this wood is not in a very friendly position. It's pretty much got to cap it. Looking for a 10 box, trying to determine if it's too far out. Well, he has not left the pin standing today. It was a perfect game last string. Tried to sneak right, it by it. Enough. Settles for a nine box. Missed the head pin. Kevin LaFond is our director here today. Keith Webb is our engineer. Craig Amabello, Larry Haber, Tanya Perry, our camera crew. Two open frames for Chris Sargent. Chuck Lothrop is on replay. Kristen Doobie is on audio. She's also the timer. And they've reclassified her as a button pusher. Is that a new, new classification in the truck? It's one I've never heard of. No. Must be a non-union position. Rich Burke also helping out in the truck. Steve Kenny is on graphics. Kate Nichols is our scorer here at Lita Lanes. I wonder if that's a new union position. Button pusher. Sean Baker with a mountain to climb. Nine box. Come on, right here. Four pin fills don't help Sean in this situation. There you go. Get it. Breaks up the split and has the four seven on make of a spare. I guess he'd like to gain back 50 in this string and then 50 in the third string. And what a pair. Chances. So two marks and four boxes for Sean. Chris Sargent right through the middle, spread eagle. But it's too early, of course, to speculate, but if Chris Sargent were to go on and win today and have a huge triple, which he's on his way to doing, will be the top seed in the Tournament of Champions. But Seeding's based on their winning score in their right. latter championship match. But that's a lot of ifs at this point, early in the second string. Yeah, nice the 10-box for Chris Sargent, converting the spread eagle. Right on the head pin that time for Chris. The two and the four. No wood to help out. Doesn't need any help. He has a spare, and we go to the break. Chris Sargent well in control following a 193 first string as you watch Candlepin Stars and Strikes from Lita Lanes in Nashua. Sean Baker ready to go. He'll step to lane 34 as you look at some of the Big crowd in attendance here at Lita Lanes to watch Candlepin Stars and Strikes. Some of the regulars, some new people as well, and always happy to have you join us. Sean again trying to break up the split. Some wood to help out. Try to spray the wood. Will it go? No, the piece of wood would not cooperate. 